In mathematics, the henstock Kurzweil integral or gauge integral enjoy integral, Lusine integral or Perron integral, but not to be confused with the more general wide enjoy integral, is one of a number of definitions of the integral of a function. It is a generalization of the Riemann integral, and in some situations is more general than the Lebesgue integral. This integral was first defined by Arno Denjoy. Denjoy was interested in a definition that would allow one to integrate functions like this function has a singularity at zero, and is not Lebesgue integrable. However, it seems natural to calculate its integral except over the interval minus epsilon, delta, and then let epsilon, delta zero. Trying to create a general theory, Denjoy used transfinite induction over the possible types of singularities, which made the definition quite complicated. Other definitions were given by Nikolai Luzin, and by Oscar Perrin, who was interested in continuous major and minor functions. It took a while to understand that the Perrin and Denjoy integrals are actually identical. Later, in 1957, the Czech mathematician Yaroslav Kurzweil discovered a new definition of this integral elegantly similar in nature to Riemann's original definition, which he named the gauge integral. The theory was developed by Ralph Henstock. Due to these two important mathematicians, it is now commonly known as the henstock kurzweil integral. The simplicity of Kurzweil's definition made some educators advocate that this integral should replace the Riemann integral in introductory calculus courses. But this idea has not gained traction. Definition Henstock's definition is as follows. Given a tagged partition P of A, B, say A and a positive function which we call a gauge, we say P is fine if for a tagged partition P and a function we define the Riemann sum to be given a function we now define a number I to be the henstock Kurzweil integral of F if for every epsilon greater than zero there exists a gauge such that whenever P is fine, we have if such an I exists. We say that F is henstock Kurzweil integrable on A, B. Cousins theorem states that for every gauge, such a fine partition P does exist, so this condition cannot be satisfied vacuously. The Riemann integral can be regarded as the special case where here we only allow constant gauges. Properties. Let F, A, B, R be any function. If a less than C less than B, then F is henstock Kurzweil integrable on A, B, if and only if it is henstock Kurzweil integrable on both A, C, and C, B. And then the henstock Kurzweil integral is linear, i.e., if F and G are integrable, and alpha, beta are rails. Then alpha f plus beta g is integrable and if f is Riemann or Lebesgue integrable, then it is also henstock Kurzweil integrable, and the values of the integrals are the same. The important Hake's theorem states that whenever either side of the equation exists, and symmetrically for the lower integration bound, this means that if f is improperly henstock Kurzweil integrable, then it is properly henstock Kurzweil integrable, in particular, improper Riemann or Lebesgue integrals such as are also henstock Kurzweil integrals. This shows that there is no sense in studying an improper henstock Kurzweil integral with finite bounds. However, it makes sense to consider improper henstock Kurzweil integrals with infinite bounds such as for many types of functions the henstock Kurzweil integral is no more general than Lebesgue integral. For example, if f is bounded with compact support, the following are equivalent. F is henstock Kurzweil integrable. F is Lebesgue integrable. F is Lebesgue measurable. In general, every henstock Kurzweil integrable function is measurable. And F is Lebesgue integrable if and only if both F and F are henstock Kurzweil integrable. This means that the henstock Kurzweil integral can be thought of as a non absolutely convergent version of Lebesgue integral. It also implies that the henstock Kurzweil integral satisfies appropriate versions of the monotone convergence theorem and dominated convergence. 
theorem f n h for some integrable g h. If f is differentiable everywhere, the derivative f is henstock Kurzweil integrable, and its indefinite henstock Kurzweil integral is f. In other words, we obtain a simpler and more satisfactory version of the second fundamental theorem of calculus. Each differentiable function is, up to a constant, the integral of its derivative. Conversely, the Lebesgue differentiation theorem continues to hold for the henstock Kurzweil integral. If f is henstock Kurzweil integrable on a, b, and then f equals f almost everywhere in a, b, the space of all henstock Kurzweil integrable functions is often endowed with the Alexovich norm, with respect to which it is barreled but incomplete. McShane integral. Interestingly, Lebesgue integral on a line can also be presented in a similar fashion. But after this change we can drop condition and get a definition of McShane integral, which is equivalent to the Lebesgue integral.